guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to a Force of Will unboxing. Specifically, we're going to be opening up the Lost Tomes starter deck. This is a deck focusing on good old Gil Al Hamat. We're going to open it up and see what's inside, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Um, first of all, this is a pretty good packaging. This is the same packaging that came in the, or that the, uh, the Ray Cluster starters came in. Um, look pretty solid. Look, looks really nice. Um, you can see how shiny Gil Al Hamat is right here. And without further ado, let's crack into this. I actually have not opened this up at all. I've only seen a visual spoiler, so let's get on into it. All right, I got it all cut open. Let's pop up the top. Pop up the top. Wait, I was going to start singing a song, and I realized I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to sing. All right, so we have, let's see. Is it clear? We're all clear. So this is the Force of Will glossary slash rule sheet. Tells you about stuff like the chase or what a chant is. Um, this is another little instruction rule booklet. I believe this is the exact same one that came in the Ray Starters. And then finally, we have this um, the Ray Starter, like cheapo playmat kind of thing. Uh, and then, of course, we have the piece de resistance, the deck itself. Here we have Al Hamat looking fantastic. Let's clear out some of the clutter as I knock the camera. Um, I think this looks pretty good, and I also think that I love that it uses this little pull tab instead of like the little the little band or like the really hard shrink wrap. This is like the perfect way to seal cards in a product like this. So already an A plus for me. Doesn't damage the cards. It's not like a pain in the ass to open. You just pop done. So let's take a look at the cards. Ooh, they have really good printing quality as for the huge here is the Gil Al Hamat treasonous emperor this is the J ruler I'm not gonna read every single card in the set but you can look at him now he does make it so all your magic stones add one of any which is sweet because this is a five color deck and then we have the ruler side of Al Hamat Gil Al Hamat he who controls the taboo um, he makes it makes it so basically he basically makes it so you can uh, play any of his historical uh, resonators or historical cards with will of any color. And like I said, this is a five color deck, so that's pretty cool. And oh, nice. So this is what I was wondering. All of. Are they all foil? Okay, so it looks like there's a couple foil cards, and then the rest are full art. That's really sick. All the cards are full art. That's super sweet. Okay, so let's go over some of the cards. I'm gonna just set Gil Al Hamat down. Um, this is the Venus Magus of Metal Star. I wonder if this is random. Are the foil cards in this random? Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we have Venus Magus of the Metal Star. The most metal of stars. We have Scant Vision. This card is really sweet. This is, um, like you get a look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal up to two historical resonators from them. Put them in your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your deck. This is a really cool card for this deck, and I love the art. We have a Shayla, Tagris, and Kirik here, and then all of Gil Al Hamat's like cronies. We have like I assume these are the seven luminaries, and then we have like Rachel and uh, Shahrazad and um, you know Alasaris. Good stuff. And then next up, we ooh, this is a foil Viola, treacherous maiden. Viola's, Viola's looking as fine as ever. We have a Blazer, the Legendary Thief. This is what he looked like when he was human, I suppose, and not a clown or a dragon. We have Al Hamat's Ultra Magic Stone. Very cool. This is a uh, True Magic Stone. The return of True Magic Stones. Um, pretty cool. True Magic Stones, you can only have one on the field at a time. Kind of like the Legend Rule for Magic the Gathering, if you're familiar with that. And then we have just the rest of the cards. So let me just flip through these real quick, and then I'll go over them individually. So once again, we have the Venus Mages of the Metal Star. Pretty cool. She's like a good one drop resonator for the deck. We have the Chrono Researcher, Alisaris. So we have four of this dude. We have the Sylvia the Slave Girl. I know a lot of people, there's a lot of buzz about this card. She's a pretty good card actually. And um, it's kind of sad. We have sad, sad Sylvia. I really love that these are all full art. That's so sweet. I know this set is replacing the um, the Vingolf set for this year, but um, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty cool set. And I think this 
Um, little spoilers. I think this is a pretty sweet starter deck. Anyway, I love it how it has this little uh, Super Mario Brothers squid guy. I think they're called like Rupert. I don't know what they're called. Another Scant Vision. Another three of them. So there's four of every card in the deck, as you can see. This is the Jupiter Warlock of the Woodstar. It's kind of like one of the, the bigger drops in the deck. Um, fantastic art all around. All this stuff looks awesome. Oh, here we have more Viola, the Treacherous Maidens. Got another three of those. Rounding it out, we have more Blazers, the Legendary Thief. We have another Rachel, or not another, we have a Rachel Nephilim Contract Maker. Um, Rachel is also another top tier waifu. <laughs> Very cool stuff, we got four of those. And then we have uh, Forbidden Arts, and this is a historical chant. Pretty good chant, actually. It just says Destroy Target Resonator, so it's kind of like uh, Stoning to Death. Um, actually, I think this is a really good card. It might be relevant in New Frontiers. It's just an efficient removal spell. So, yeah, very good. We have a four of this historical magic stone. This lets you um, rest to play historical cards, or you can do um, Light or Darkness to do Judgment, so it's relevant for good old Alhamat. And then we have full art, um, like magic stones. We have darkness magic stone, fire magic stone, the light magic stone, the water magic stone, and of course the wind magic stone. So overall, I think this is a really good product if you can get it at a good price. I bought this one for around 19 bucks shipped on eBay. Um, that was with like a pre-order price with good shipping and all that stuff, just so I could get it in time for you guys. I think this is a really good contained product. Um, the cards are awesome. They are very cool. They have like really flashy abilities. I know I didn't go over all of them individually because that would have taken a decent amount of time. However, I do think they are good and they have cool abilities like Rachel here. You can remove another resonator you control from the game and you put a resonator from your graveyard into the field. You can only play this ability on your turn. So she kind of like helps you cycle through your guys. All of the cards in this deck are historical cards so you can um, play all of them with Gil Al Hamat. Um, so you don't really have to worry about will. It gives you a good flavor of every single will color in the game. So this is a good, you know, like starting player type of deck. The cards are powerful. They're flashy. They look fucking fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, I, I like it a lot. There are some cards in here that I think um, could see play in New Frontiers, especially, um, oh, where is it? This guy. Yeah, the Forbidden Arts. So all in all, I think this is a really good product, especially if you can get it at a good price. Uh, the fact that all the cards are full art, including the uh, the magic stones at the end, the fact that they're bringing back these true magic stones just for flavor reasons, I think it's fucking sweet. Um, once again, the art is fantastic. This is a great product. This is a good product for a new starting player. It's a good product if you just want to pick up a deck and have fun with it. Um, it's a very themed deck, which I really like. It's not like any random stuff scattered in. Um, all in all good product if you can pick it up at a good price i would say do so um, if you're a really competitive like new frontiers player maybe not maybe not unless there's some secret breakout card in here that i don't know if it's going to be like amazing maybe you want to stay away from this but if you are a casual player or if you're a starting player or if you just like to collect the game or if you like the lore this is an amazing starter deck so guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, maybe leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. All of it helps, and I appreciate it oh so much. Regardless of what you do, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see y'all next time.